Hallo zusammen, I'm your Vlog Dave. Let's take a closer look at how three video games might be called in German. It's personal suggestions mainly, but you can also learn some German vocabulary, so let's begin. Number 1. Resident Evil Originally called Biohazard in Japan, where it was first published by Capcom in 1996, Resident Evil has become a highly successful and popular franchise that's not only limited to a video game series anymore. The word Biohazard could be translated to die Biogefahr, it's a compound word, and it consists of the two words die Biologie, biology, and in this case especially the adjective biologisch, biological, and die Gefahr, singular, die Gefahren, plural, danger or hazard. Instead of die Gefahr, you could also refer to the term die Gefährdung, endangering or peril. The story in the very first Resident Evil game takes place in a mansion, das Anwesen, and, well, there are zombies, der Untote or der Zombie, evil residents, so to speak see what they did there. The second interpretation I can come up with refers to various viruses that play an important role in the franchise too. Das Virus, singular, die Viren, plural. So a proper translation of Evil Resident would be der böse Anwohner. Böse or bösaft equals the English evil. Instead of the term Anwohner, you could also use the term Bewohner or Einwohner. They pretty much mean the same. Number 2. Alice Madness Returns This is a video game I first played just a few months ago, and it has become one of my favorite modern jump and run action adventure games with horror elements. You're playing the famous character Alice Little, the protagonist in Lewis Carroll's story Alice in Wonderland, which actually has an official German title too, Alice im Wunderland. Yeah, it's just a literal translation. The game's title, Alice Madness Returns, could be translated to Alice, der Wahnsinn kehrt zurück. An interesting aspect to this is that, as you can see, the possible German translation consists of four instead of three words. This has to do with German verbs being two-part structures in many contexts. The infinite verbs are not subdivided, but their conjugated forms are. Ich kehre zurück. Du kehrst zurück. Er, sie, es kehrt zurück. Wir kehren zurück. Ihr kehrt zurück. Sie kehren zurück. And number three, Tomb Raider. And the literal translation of this one actually isn't too weird or strange. Tomb Raider means der Grabräuber or der Grabplünderer. So what is worth mentioning here? Again, we can see a strong linguistic tendency towards creating compound words in the German language. So the two parts of this title are Das Grab, singular, die Gräber, plural, and Der Räuber, singular, die Räuber, plural, or Der Plünderer, singular, die Plünderer, plural. We usually have distinctive terms for women doing certain actions or having specific occupations. And in this case, Lara Croft, who is a woman, who would have guessed that, would rather be called die Grabräuberin or die Grabplünderin in German. Der Räuber and der Plünderer can be seen as both the hyponym to this activity or behavior and also as terms that are specifically referring to men being raiders. Die Räuberin and die Plünderin are specific terms used only for female raiders, so to speak. The plural terms for these ones are die Räuberinnen and die Plünderinnen. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this and also make sure to check out the video description with many interesting links and well, don't hesitate to subscribe. I'm your Vlog Dave. Tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal. Bidoo bidoo boo bidoo bidoo boo. Bidoo 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 b